Welcome to calculating access time. Uh, you should have SDK 12 or higher loaded on your computer. Make sure you open this SDK file, which should be on the website, SDK Basics Calculating Access Time. Today, we're, when we talk about access times, what we really mean is the amount of time a satellite or a sensor can observe a location or area during the two-week analysis period. That time is called access time. So the way you get there is that up at the very top, there is uh, an analysis icon. Um, I'm gonna go through the steps here on the PDF and then I'm gonna follow the guide on that you've received from the website, hopefully. So when we click on the icon, we can select an object. Right now it's set up as SAT1 in the city it's looking at as Chicago. Um, we want to change that to sensor one. So select object, sensor one, you click OK. And you'll notice up in the window, it now says SAT1 dash sensor one. Down at the bottom, there's a section on reports. We're going to click on the access window and we're going to view orbit and start and stop times. These are the times on each orbit when the sensor can either see or not see the uh, location that it's observing. So on sensor one, here's the start and stop times. It was a little over six minutes. What we're really concerned in our scenarios though is the eternal du total duration or total access time. For this problem, it's 216.273 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go to my um, SDK. Uh, notice I only have the 3D window, so I need to tile vertically. And if I want to move it over, I can move it side to side like that. I can hit tile vertically again and it'll line everything up. So I can either select the access icon here, or if I go analysis, I have the access icon there. Either way, I get this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, well, we're going to verify that SAT1 properties are at 3,000 kilometers and 45 degrees. Well, right now it's set to select the object SAT1. I could select the location, but I'm going to select sensor one, hit OK, and it's looking at Chicago. I click on the access. I maximize the window. Again, on orbit one, this is the time it started to see and, mit and then stopped seeing it for 6.3 minutes. And if we go to the bottom, we get 216.73. Now, I'm going to right click on the report at the bottom to close that window. It's going to bring the access back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and select the SAT which is actually going to give me line of sight between there and Chicago and do access. And this time the total access time is a little over 3000 minutes. Uh, so what that shows you is with the sensor, there's a very narrow field of view. So it only sees it for a short amount of time each orbit. But if I'm doing line of sight, the satellite sees it much longer. One of the things we might do, I scroll back up. If I right click on duration, I can come down and change the report units. In this case, I'm going to do hours and click OK. And so in this case, it was a little more than um, 51 uh, minutes. OK, the other way to get rid of that report is up at the upper right. There's an X that says close the active window. Okay, so now I want to change the inclination of the satellite to 10 degrees. So if I'm going to go from 45 to 10 degrees, I'm going to hit OK. I want to uh, reselect the sensor. So I'm going to go to the sensor. I'm going to hit access, and it comes up no access found. What that means is at no time during the two-week period does the sensor see Chicago. 
again, it's because it has a very narrow field of view. I'm gonna get rid of the report because it's cluttering up my window. I wanna change this to 60 degrees for the inclination. I'm gonna select okay. I'm still on the sensor in there. I'm gonna do an access report. And in this case, it's 98 point, uh, a little over 90, almost 99 minutes. So during Stellar Explorer's competition, to find the best orbit, you're gonna repeatedly be changing the classical orbital elements in order to find the largest total access time.